This is a B drive, a new wireless portable network drive from Synology. And if you already have one, I'm sure you're so stoked that your new gadget is compatible with all your devices, whether if it's a Mac, PC, Android, or iOS. And you might be wondering how to set it up properly. Don't worry, I got you. What is up good people, this is Jay and in this video, I'll show you how to set up your Synology B drive on different platforms. So enough talk and let's get at it. First things first, upon unboxing the Synology B drive, you get the drive itself, a USB-C to USB-C cable, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, and the instruction manual. Now, setting it up with your computer is similar for both Mac and PC, given that you need to do a few extra steps for Mac. So let's get that out of the way. First, make sure that your B drive is plugged in and that the B drive app is installed on your computer. You can find the B drive app installer on their website. And Intel-based Mac can skip this one, but for Apple Silicon-based Mac, you have to first shut it down, then hold down the power button until you see loading startup options. Go to options, then go to the utilities tab and select startup utilities. Select your startup disk and click security policy. Select reduce security and tick allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers. Click OK. Put in your admin username and password, click OK, then restart your Mac. These next steps are for both Intel and Apple Silicon-based Mac. After restarting, B drive will pop up and check if you can move on to the next step. If you're good to go, then you'll be guided through the next steps. For this one, we have to allow identified developers, and we do this by going to System Settings, Privacy and Security, Scroll down to security, select App Store and identify developers, and allow the software from Synology that is being blocked. Then restart your device. After restarting, B drive will pop up once again to check if everything is set correctly. If it is, then it will take you to the final step, which is allowing full disk access. And to do that, we have to go to System Settings, Privacy and Security, Scroll down and select Full Disk Access, then toggle on B Drive. You might need to enter your admin account and password for this one. You'll get a pop-up telling you that you need to relaunch the B Drive app. So you click Quit and Reopen. For Windows Machine, it's fairly simple. Connect your B Drive via USB cable to your PC. Keep in mind that you have to make sure that you have an active internet connection. Open your B Drive and launch the B Drive online installer. For both Mac and PC, after a successful setup upon launching the B Drive app, the last and final step is to log in using your Synology account. After that, you may enjoy using your B Drive by either backing up your PC, sync your files, or transfer files to your iOS or Android device similar to how AirDrop works. Now, setting up your B Drive with your mobile device is as easy as installing the B Drive app from either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Pair your B Drive to your device by scanning the QR code. Now, you may get the QR code from the B Drive desktop app on your Mac or PC. Now, you have to make sure that your mobile device and desktop are connected to the same network. Plug your B Drive to your computer, launch the B Drive desktop app, select Mobile Transfer, and click Continue. You. Scan the QR code and you're good to go. Now you can use your B drive to back up your photos so you won't have to worry about your storage space the next time you want to cherish those great memories with your loved ones. Keep in mind that you can choose your backup format after the initial backup. Backing up new photos will start whenever your B drive and mobile device are connected to the same network. You also have the option not to back up videos if you don't want to, skip or rename duplicates, and if you have a lot of photos to back up, you may use Use the focus backup feature so your B drive can back up your photos without interruption. Protecting our data is something that we should always do, but most importantly, having our precious moments safe and secured wherever we go is a priority we should always have. And that is it for us in this video, and I hope you find this one helpful. Of course, to stay updated with the latest Synology products and offers, be sure to check out their socials. And as always, for questions, suggestions, comments, and whatnot, the comment section is always open. Or hit me up on my socials anytime. Again, my name is Jay telling you to keep 
keep that smile, stay positive, rock on, and rock hard.